Hello all, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here again with you with another crafty video. This week I've been playing with the art resin again and also using those rebel glitters once more. I'm still experimenting with this and I'm still playing but I'm enjoying the results that I'm getting and more importantly I'm enjoying playing. So without further ado I will give you another slightly sped up process video and then obviously show you the results that I got this week. So I've been experimenting this week, as I said, and what I've been doing is um, crushing up old chandelier parts to give myself some crushed glass. And I've also been making my own mixes from the Rebel Glitter range that I'm going to use with their new round um, agate slice. So these are all the um, bits that went into my mixtures. This video is going quite fast, so if at any point you need to stop to make a note of what I've used, just press pause and write down what you need to do and then carry on. As you can see, I'm going quite fast. But basically in the first mix, I've got some purples and some silvers. The second mix is all about whites and iridescences. And that's not even a word. Um, but basically, I've got uh, different um, grades of glitter there and also some of the pigment. This one, again, is more about the greens and uses a lot of different grades of glitters and inclusions. I say a lot, there's four. Also uses the pearlescent powder there too. The last one is gold. And this just uses two, which is like a rainbow holographic gold glitter and some gold pigment powder. I'm using the art resin as I've done before which is a one-on-one -on -one mix so I will put everything to one side and get started shortly. I just wanted to show you something I found this week at uh, Aldi believe it or not and it's a little blowtorch soldering iron but it also can act as a heat gun. So it's a portable heat gun and it uses a flame from a butane gas, which is the regular gas you would put in a cigarette lighter. So I thought it would be great to give it a try during these videos, because that's what we use to pop the bubbles. So just a reminder there on screen, mixing ratio of 1 to 1 for resin and hardener. I'm using a, using a couple of plastic drinking cups here to um, measure out the parts. I was using the um, embossed grading up the side of the cups to, to measure two. And then you've got three minutes of hand mixing. Now, don't go at this speed, just gentle stirring, like you're gently stirring a cup of tea, allowing the tea bag to brew. When it comes to the end, you will have air bubbles. Don't worry, some of these will dissipate as we do further mixing. And then of course we have the blowtorch to help us get rid of the extra ones at the end. I'm tending to wipe up spills as I go, as it saves any um, things setting or sticking. I'm also working in just an old oven tray here as well. I say old, it's basically new, but it was new a few years ago and I've not used it. I don't really cook that much. <laughs> I just snack. So I've got extra mixing cups for my four different um, colour combos. So I'm going to evenly divide up the resin mixture. Looks like some kind of syrup co um, cocktail bar. Okay, chucking in all the little bits and then giving them a good old stir. always important to make sure everything's thoroughly mixed in. Any clumps of pigment and stuff aren't really good. I'm dispensing some of the gold into a little bottle that's got a pointed cap and I've cut off a section of that as well of the um, pointed spout and now I'm mixing in some of the crushed chandelier parts into some clear resin 
and I'm going to mix in a little bit of the green. Basically I want these to look like crystals in the centre of um, my slice. Now if I am doing that and if you're doing that you'll have to remember you're actually working from back to front because normally you'd work front to back as in the bottom of the mould is the front. But in this case it might end up that the actual back of the mould or the top is the front as I see it. Now I randomly poured lots of bits and pieces all over and then I was just giving it a little bit of movement. I'm trying not to stir this one too much. And then with the gold I'm basically just adding lines following the shape of the central bit. And then just a little wiggle with a pointed something or other. This was a little mini spatula. Was I saying about not mixing it too much? <laughs> okay, that one was put to one side. I had plenty of the resin left, so I decided to just um, slop a load of the gold in to another mould and then plop all the other colours on top. And of course, some of the crushed chandelier. If you want to know where I got the crushed chandelier parts by the, um, from, by the way, my neighbours were throwing one out because they've changed their lighting. But I'm sure you could find one down a junk shop or a scrap heap. Doesn't have to be a chandelier. By the way, those chandelier parts are hell to actually smash to bits. Of course, exercise caution when you're dealing with broken glass. As you've probably noticed, I haven't actually touched the glass with my fingers. I've literally been skipping it with spoons or transferring it from one container to another. Just be very, very careful. And I've also tried not to move it in the moulds as well because I didn't want to scratch the moulds. Okay, another big mess made. Ta-da! Now, for whatever I've got left, I'm just going to throw in this third mould and see what happens. And then using my new blow torch, just to apply heat to pop the bubbles that have formed on the top of those slices. And then it's time to leave those to set. Twenty-four hours curing time, just to remind you, with art resin. If you're using a different resin, that may be totally different. Some people suggest demolding after twelve hours. I tend to find it needs the full twenty-four to cure enough to be removable from the mold, and then it will take a further forty-eight to fully cure. So you'll need to leave it somewhere flat so that it doesn't bend during its curing. And 24 hours later, here we go. So here's one of them. This was the gold and the green. This was kind of the second dump it all on type job. So I'm just teasing away the edges all around. And then just trying to release bits and pieces as I go. Now, this side, what would be the front side, was very interesting. There's lots of little things going on here. Lots of fine glitter, lots of crushed glass pieces, lots of the extra bits that are inside. But on the other side, it's much more um, segregated. So there's lots of division between the colours and the textures. 
So I could actually use either side with this one. I'm happy with both. And now for the one that I actually poured first, the one that I probably overdid a bit with the mixing and the filling, but we'll see. Again, just tease it all away. Ooh, this one's very interesting. I love all the little, um, the way the thick glass has kind of created a, almost like a translucency through the piece. And then the outer edge is very much like quartz. Very interesting. And then that gold is a fantastic little division between the two um, colours. Although in the future, I think if I did this one again, I would leave the gold out and just go with that green and that white mixture. And then here's my kind of blob it on and see what happens. So this was a bunch of the crushed glass plus some of the gold and green mixtures. So you can see nice and smooth on the back. That wasn't what I was particularly looking for, but I did like this. I think in the future I'll probably use this on a mixed media canvas somewhere. Lots of interesting little bits going on here. And that crushed glass, now that it's encapsulated in resin, is brilliant. And there we go. Don't you just love art resin and rebel glitters from Just For You Online UK? I know I do. So listen, uh, I'm going to keep going with this and I'm going to try and perfect a few techniques and start sharing those with you in the future. I've got many more videos coming up, just not enough editing time. That's the problem. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this particular video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you'd like to be notified when there's new videos from me online, then just hit the bell icon too. Any questions, pop them in the comments below. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.